I think if we don't catch anything now, we will have a better chance later in the afternoon when it speeds up. Yeah, I think so. From what the reports heard, a lot, a lot of people have been saying that afternoon. Like when the water warms up a little bit, yeah. maybe it'll get better as the day goes on. All right, today's simple. We're out here at a big, pretty large body of water in search of some trout. I got a, a swivel with a uh, a barrel weight, barrel swivel with a with a sinker weight. Sorry, and we're just gonna run some shiners here on a circle hook. I think Harry's got some power bait over there. I'm just gonna chuck this out and. Uh, Hope for the best. We got the rods set up. I got two rods with the shiners on them. Hopefully we can catch something today. I have some uh, limited cooking supplies in the in the car, so I could definitely do some type of catch and cook. I'm gonna throw this little jerk bait in the meantime. Harry's throwing a uh, spinner down there. Anything. little spot change so far we got nothing I think this spots a little bit less windy so maybe we can get a bite here fish on we got a fish on here guys I don't know what this is he's fighting pretty good though oh man what is that is that a laker I don't know <laughs> That's a big laker. Brown. Right That's a brown. You got a line right in front of you. Can you grab him? Whoa! Oh, they broke off right here. Oh my god. Right. What did you catch him on? Shiner. Yeah. We've been waiting all day. Oh my god. We did it. Oh my god, look at the meat on this thing. It's huge. <laughs> From the top. 20 inches. 20? 20, 21. Where's zero? I just want to see. Yeah. Oh, that's that's zero? Yeah. yeah. 21 inches. 21. Oh no, 20, 20 and a half. Friggin' amazing. We really weren't, I really didn't think we were going to catch anything today, but somehow the water warmed up, the temperature seems good out here, and uh, we landed that nice big old brown. That I'm just so happy about that. We're gonna we're gonna do a little catch and cook here in a little bit. All right. We do not have much, but we got a fish, a pan, some oil. I did not come prepared to do a catch and cook. That's all we need. But uh, we're gonna taste the fish pretty much in its natural state. Let's do a little outdoor catch and cook here. Nice meat. Wow. Wow. Two beautiful fillets right there. Just a little bit. And that goes back to nature. Super belly meat. Oh my gosh, that meat. Wow. All right. This is uh, 
some wondra flour, garlic, black pepper. That's all I really had. We're gonna take those nice trout fillets. Stick those in there. Give those a nice little shake. Oil's getting nice and hot. Let's go ahead and test a piece out here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's hot. I'm not gonna overload it. Let's put a few pieces in here. We're sizzling away. Out here frying it up. Harry's working on a uh, tongs because we forgot that. Once again, very limited supplies. Nice. You bet? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wait. Oh man. Alright, I think this one's ready here. I'm gonna flip it towards the camera. Oh man. Oh <laughs> my like god. It just smells like oil. <laughs> Simple is sometimes better, you know? Taste the fish. Natural. In its natural state. Caught right here. In Wisconsin. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, this is not New Jersey. New Jersey doesn't have brown trout. Didn't you hear? Look at that. That right there, New Jersey brown trout. Take a uh, nice bite of that. I'm gonna go with the crispy end. I'll open it first. Open it. Oh man. Let's give that a shot. Cheers, cheers. Mm. Our full saw on top. Oh. oh man. No, not the chopsticks. It's like so crunchy on the outside. Oh my god. Yeah, a little salt. Man, if that like a sauce. I mean, that Wondra flour gave it a real nice crunch. Look at those guys in there. That is good. That is really good. Right. It's really good. We're going to go ahead and finish frying these guys up and uh, finishing our little meal here. All right, we're just cleaning up. Everything went well. We didn't have a lot for that catch and cook, but it came out really good. You know, that was pretty much as fresh as it gets right there. Um, next time we'll definitely do a better recipe bring some more supplies but thank you so much for watching as always if you enjoyed this type of video please hit that uh, like button maybe consider subscribing and i'll uh, see you next time on the line cook peace out see ya all right oh here 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 let me show you this little trigger thing see this little black part right here <laughs> yeah like you pull on it with the line and it opens the bail. Oh, for you the wow. So tell me how all the new rods, we, uh, I mean, all the new reels don't have this feature. That's a pretty good this feature. A $15 reel. Give those a nice little shake. Shake and bake. You know that. Shake and bake, Rick Bobby. Okay. okay. You know it was a commercial before? before that? Was it really? Yeah. They used to sell the breadcrumb mixture in a, in a box called Shake and Bake. So what you would do is you would put the mixture, like you buy the box, put the mixture in the in, in a Ziploc bag, put in your chicken, shake it, bake it, shake and bake. That's what it's from. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah.